Hi everyone and welcome back to The Gardener's Life. Today we're going to be talking about quails. So quails are ground dwelling birds and they're commonly kept for their eggs. So these little guys that I have are Japanese quails. So they're actually one of the larger forms of quails. And actually the smallest forms of quails is just about this big as an adult. So in this video we're going to be talking about the basic needs you have to supply your quail with. So how much space you supply them is going to be dependent on how many quails you have. Some people recommend an area of as small as a foot by a foot or 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters per one quail. Personally trying to apply that with my quails, I found that the area was far too overcrowded and I preferred to do twice that size so that each quail had a 30 by 60 centimeter area to themselves. So an area like this, which is a 1.2 meter by 60 centimeters, can house up to eight quails if you prefer the high density form or four quails as I have in here today. In addition, I've added a little coop area. Unlike chickens, quails don't really use their coops to roost in at night. Because they don't really use their coop for roosting, it's important to provide them with a dry area as well. So you can possibly have, say, half of this uncovered so they get some sunlight, or you can have the whole area covered as I've done back here. In terms of foraging, they do somewhat like to forage in the grass, but not so much as chickens. So you can't really rely on them to properly decompose an area, say of grass, if you wanted that to be completely scratched up. So the housing that I've got for these quails is open at the bottom, and this is so I can move it in different areas and keep the area as clean as possible. Having said that, the quails do scratch around a little bit and so they may cause holes around the edges um, underneath where they can slip out as they're quite small, they can get out in small areas. So you need to be mindful of that and how I've prevented that is just by putting some rocks on the edging of this. Although quails are ground dwelling and they don't fly too much, they still can fly. So you need to provide them with a secure lid on the top of their housing. In general, it's not recommended to house your quails with chickens. One, because they do need different feeds. And two, because chickens will have a tendency to pick on smaller birds, especially quails who don't get much bigger than that. Now, in terms of their feed, they do need a different feed to chickens. In fact, they need a feed that's a higher protein. So they're generally not suitable to be housed with chickens if they need to be fed separately. It's really important with quails that you provide them with the right food as deficiencies in protein can lead them to peck their own feathers or the feathers of their friends. If available from your local produce store, try and get quail feed. If you can't find that, as it is quite a speciality feed, turkey or game bird feed will be just as suitable for them. Similar to chickens, you start them off with a crumble and then you work your way up to the full grain size. Once they start egg laying, you also need to provide them with some additional calcium. It's generally included in the feed, but some additional shell grit or even calcium um, liquid put into their water can also be beneficial for them long term. I didn't mention this in the video, but of course you have to provide them with clean water as well. And you can just use a normal poultry dispenser. So these guys are only about six to seven weeks. They're gonna need another two to three months before we start seeing they, them lay their first egg. Okay, so I was being a little bit generous so the quails didn't feel pressured. The Department of Primary Industries actually states that Japanese quails can come into lay from 50 days of age, which puts them at about seven weeks. Of course, there are other influencing factors like the weather or sunlight, and of course the feed that can play a role. 
I got my quails in early winter and the first one came in to lay at 12 weeks of age. In terms of producing eggs, they aren't quite as successful as our chicken counterparts are. So once they start laying, they can lay up to about nine months time, in which case their fertility does decrease and you will see less eggs. So on average, you could expect in the first year to get about 200 eggs and slowly decline from there. Worming is as you would any other chickens. There's not too many speciality quail wormers out, but a general bird wormer that is inclusive of quails generally has an active ingredient of lemovisol. Um, you can use on the quails at the suitable dosage rate for their size. As with any bird, they can get mites and lice, so if needed, you can treat that with a general duster for birds. As with any bird, you need to provide them with sunlight, but also be aware if the heat conditions get too high and heat stroke can put them at risk. So that's all I've got for today's video on the basic care you need to provide your quail. I hope you consider keeping these beautiful birds in your garden too. If you have any further comments on how to keep quails, please leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and help my community grow. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content, please subscribe here. Or if you'd like to watch other videos, click here. See you next time guys!